Welcome to Herald of Glory Devotional. Today, Sunday, November 28, 2021. Theme, A Life of the Spirit. Luke chapter 4, verse 1, New English Translation. Then Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan River and was led by the Spirit in the wilderness. The early apostles were instructed to wait for the promise of the Holy Spirit before they could be witnesses of the Lord Jesus. When the Holy Spirit came, they indeed received power and witness strongly to the Lord Jesus and God confirmed their works with signs and wonders. From appointing people to oversee seven of tables to sending apostles of their special ministries, there was nothing worth noting the early church did without the leadership of the Holy Spirit. This is how the Lord Jesus ordained his church to be, always led by the Holy Spirit. Even at his death, the Lord Jesus offered himself spotless through the Holy Spirit to obtain our salvation. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 14 And he resurrected by the power of the Holy Spirit. Romans chapter 8 verse 11 To achieve the results we now enjoy as children of God. Effective ministry and results that please God are those initiated and perfected by the Holy Spirit. In Christianity, we are not called to do just anything but things born of the Spirit. There should be nothing you do without the Holy Spirit. In your ministry, marriage, business, academics, career or any major decision, be guided by Him. You are called to live beyond the normal course of human life whose decisions are engineered by emotional impulses and for that matter, often lead to distractions and disappointments. The leadership of the Holy Spirit in your life is imperative. The extraordinary life Jesus lived is a testimony of a life lived with the Holy Spirit. And this is the exact reality of the life God has brought you into. Declaration, please declare. Thank you, precious Lord Holy Spirit for your ministry in me. I allow myself to be always led by you so that I become effective in my ministry as a child of God, in my marriage, business, career and education. I stay in your perfect path for me. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Reflection. There should be nothing you do without the Holy Spirit in your ministry, marriage, business, academics, career or any major decision be guided by Him. You are called to live beyond the normal course of human life whose decisions are engineered by emotional impulses and for that matter often lead to distractions and disappointments. Further reading. 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 14 That good thing which was committed unto thee, keep by the Holy Spirit which dwelleth in you. 2 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 12 to 14 Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God, which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Ghost teaches, remembering spiritual things with spiritual, but a natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. Read the Bible in one year. Hosea chapter 13. The Perfection Mandate The Lord Jesus is coming for a glorious church, matured, perfect, and holy. Perfection is the goal of the church. This is the focus of her out of glory devotional. Join the impact train. We are uniquely focused on heralding the Lord's glorious church. Join us in spreading the message of the Lord's glory and perfection to everyone in our world. Kindly contact plus 233-555-500-100. Plus 233-555-500-100. Plus 233-244-52. 8637 plus 233-244-528637 Herald of Glory Impacts at Gmail 86 
series. Like and share Herald of Glory daily on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Pastor Julius Glorifield Christ Lord, Herald in the Glorious Church. Herald of Glory Devotional, Your Perfection Manual. Enjoy a perfect day. You are blessed.